I said before the year that if they don't get significant, like top half of the ACC performance out of their defensive line this year, then changes needed to be made. Beat that drum. This is a results. This is all off this season. Is a, this is a results based business. How many times did I say that in the off season? It's more than one. So. <laughs> and you weren't exactly a voice crying alone in the wilderness on that topic either. So no, yeah. but, but folk, but I mean, you guys know, and folks know I'm not somebody that calls for coaching changes a whole lot. I, I, you know, I don't believe normally coaching changes do as much to help you as, as a lot of people tend to think, but at a certain point, they're going to have to look closely in the mirror, especially on the defensive side of the ball and say, look, now, they're, now you've had two different coordinators and there are certain position groups that have significantly underperformed and that's with four star, you know, blue chip talent, sometimes five star talent that is underperformed at those positions under multiple coordinators. You have to evaluate that. And then on the offensive side, when you're replacing a coordinator, as I said before, that the new coordinator is going to have to come in and evaluate how well the guys that are currently on the staff actually fit what he wants to do and whether or not they're guys that can pull in the same direction. So, no, I do not think that things in their current construction can just that you can just hire a new offensive coordinator and plug and play and go on next year with no other changes and expect this team to play in the ACC championship game again next year especially without the Coastal Division next year. It's going to be harder to make the ACC championship game next year. I mean, it's going to be really – I mean, next year it's starting to look, given that Florida State's managed to – basically they're, they're keeping most of their contributors uh, that were draft eligible. They're, they're bringing all those guys back. It's going to be hard to – you know, you're going to have to go in, in front of a very good Florida State team and in, and in front of Clemson to be in the ACC title game. So you're going to have to make some changes just to be there. And I'm not sure even if you make changes, you're going to do that. Jeff Braum being at Louisville adds a new dynamic. Yeah. And I mean, and that Louisville team has some talent. Yeah. So, you know, it, th- this is a time, this is a, I think a very pivotal time in North Carolina football where the next, what happens from here through let's say January is going to have ripple effects for three or four years from now. And the last thing I want to see you know, just as someone who covers this team and someone who none of us like the team that we cover to do really poorly. It's just no fun. Um, and, you know, I know people in that building. I, I, I like it when Carolina does really well. well. The last thing that any of us want to see is for this to be like 2015. You make the, you make the uh, ACC championship game. Things don't go quite so well. Then things kind of fall apart a little bit after that in, in you know, late 2015. And then by 2016, 2017, the, whole, the wheels came off. So, you know, you can't let that happen here. And I think you have to, I think this is, this is an off season where Mac Brown is going to have to reevaluate every aspect of everything they do from off season workouts and how they construct the toughness building and all of that in January all the way to how they practice situationally and what the practice schedule looks like and what they're doing on that to who the, you know, assistant coaches are to, to all of the, the different analysts and everything else without doing that. I think there, there, this is a, a very dangerous time for Carolina football. There's enough talent on this roster that if they do it right, they could steady the ship and, and move forward and, and do fine, but it's going to take some a hard look in the mirror and some hard decisions.